y'all, Shay here. Welcome to this unboxing. Boy, do I have a treat for you guys today. Um, I actually stumbled upon this while looking for other paintings. And when I saw it, I was like, I gotta get this one and show you guys. Um, if you are a Thomas Kincaid fan, yes, this one's for you. Do y'all see that? There's it. I, that's what told me it was his. I'm like, that was so smart that they put that there. Um, this is a diamond dot, okay? And they've licensed Thomas Kincaid with a holiday painting, just in time for the holidays. Um, so I wanted to do this unboxing for you guys today. Um, I did a shopping with Shay. I did another video yesterday for the paintings that I was originally looking for. And I also got this, and a lot of you said, we wanna see you, we wanna see you unbox this. So yeah, let me show this to you guys, and then you can decide if it's something you wanna get. It is available online, so I will definitely have it linked down below. Uh, use a coupon. We'll talk about that throughout the video. So, but yeah, let's get into it. Um, again, it is the day of this filming. It is, let's see, October 22nd. So now this is from Joann's. Okay. Let's talk about that. I did find from going in this week and last going to several Joann's. Um, I am in Dallas, Texas. A lot of, of, a lot of them are just now starting to put their, their Christmas stuff out. So, uh, just be patient. Again, if you want to try to find it in store, I found it in the store, but if you want to order it online, do that too. But, you know, if you want to try to find it, it's fun. The hunt's fun, but I do like that it is available online already. So, but yeah, let's talk about this. Now, as I say, Joann's, they're kind of a mess. Sometimes the store itself is kind of disorganized and that's a whole nother story. But, um, but yes, I did find this there. I don't know if it's anywhere else other than Joann's, but that's where I found it. All right. So let's talk about this image. Okay. Let's talk about the details. So again, it's called Symbols of Freedom, and it's for an intermediate diamond painter. The design size is a 40 by 50 in centimeters, and of course it also has inches, 16 by 20 in inches. It is a round, and it is a full canvas. There's a complete image right there. Gorgeous. What I might do is, so we can really get a good image, um, I'll pop up the original artwork right here so we can see how pretty it is, okay? But I think this rendering, from what I can tell from the box, looks good. I have not opened this yet, so I'm very, very excited to look at this. Um, if you've never done a Diamond Dots before, I have. I've done a handful of them, and I've had great experience. They are budget-friendly. Um, yeah, so it says how it works. Follow the Diamond Dots chart. Picking up is easy. This is what I like the best. Sticking down is fun. Yes, it is. So this is, you know, this is everything about it. It does tell you right here it's got 31 colors. So, yeah, we'll get into all the things. We'll take a look at it. It's a full drill. Uh, you diamond paint the entire picture. So yeah, let's get into it. Now, while I'm opening it, I will tell you, oh, I was going to show you guys. Um, let me open this, this bottom of the box if I can. Um, well, I don't want to rip the bottom of the box, but I do like if you're storing it. Sorry about the angle. It's got all the information in a picture. So if you're storing this, you know, this way, this way, that way, basically all the ways, um, you'll know what, what diamond painting it is. So uh, let me grab a pen. I need to cut the tape off. Um, so this was a little pricey, okay? But again, it's a Thomas Kincaid, and it's a good size. But use the coupon. Never pay full price at Joann's, okay? Um, I can tell you guys how much I paid in the store, but it would be the same for online. If you use this, oh gosh, I just stuck that right in the box. I should have done this before I started filming. Sorry, y'all. I'm just so excited. All right, so let me look at my receipt. All right, so it was originally $44.99, and I used a 40% off coupon, so it took $18 off, so I only spent $26.99. That's more like it. When I saw the $44, I was like, ooh, almost $45, but $27, I can swing that. That's, that's more manageable for me. So, But again, it's up to your budget, what you want to spend, but again, licensed artwork is so important. The artist gets paid. That's what that means. And that's all I'll show on my channel. That's all I unbox. So, all right, let's talk about this image, okay? When I bought it yesterday, I was just excited that it was a Thomas Kincaid. It was a beautiful tree. I did not know the history behind it. One of my subscribers actually commented on the, the video. And so I was going to tell you guys, if you're not familiar with what it is, I did print it off the Diamond Dots website. So let me read it to you guys. Um, this exquisite, yes, this is their writing. This, but it is exquisite, I'm sure. This exquisite kit features a stunning Christmas scene set against the backdrop of Washington, D.C.'s iconic monuments. The beautifully decorated Christmas tree surrounded by families enjoying the festive atmosphere captures the essence of unity and joy. I thought that was great. I love, love, love that description. 
I'm not going to talk about politics, but I think we can definitely use some of that right now. All right, so inside this pack, you've got the drills, you've got your toolkit in there, everything is packaged all together. And then, of course, this is your diamond painting. So I definitely like to look at the toolkit first. So let's get into this. All right, I'm not used to seeing the toolkit in with the drills. That's interesting. I did notice, though, it's got the name of the painting right here. I love that because some people do store their, their diamonds separate than their canvases. They don't keep the box. They'll just hang these up in their closet and they keep these, you know, like under their bed. So it's got all the information here if you want to do that separate, store them separately. All right, so here's the Diamond Dots um, toolkit. It's got a really nice tray with a spout. Very nice. That, that'll that work. And then you do have a pen with a single placer. And it looks like they added, wait, I did see a multi-placer in here. Yeah, okay. This is going to be, it looks like there's two in here. It looks like a three and a six. So if you want to place more than one drill at a time, you can place three at a time or six. That's interesting. They're like two different ones. You got the clear and then the, the little bit darker one. Those are the thicker ones though. Not my favorite. But that'll work. They also give you a straightener. A lot of you might like that. So of course these just go on the end of your pen. Here's a squishy for comfort. It just slips on there and helps diamond painting. Now this is your wax. It's a little cute caddy. It's, it is branded. And just twist this off and let's see how many pads we get. Come on, one, they're pretty thick. Look at that, that's some thick wax, y'all. Wait, is that more than one? No, that's that's pretty thick. I think there's just two in there. Yeah, now if you're gonna use these, this pink wax is great, but go ahead and peel off the film because I've made that mistake when I first started dyeing painting. So before you put your pen in there, make sure you, you peel that film off, it's on both sides. But this little caddy's great, keeps them stored. I remember one time I was using some wax and I couldn't find it. I needed to refill my, my pen and it was stuck to my arm right here because I wasn't keeping it in this. So that, that can happen. It also comes with uh, some resealable baggies. Okay, so if you wanna store, if you wanna keep any of your leftover drills, you can do that. So yeah, that's a basic toolkit and it's everything you need to get going to start diamond painting right away. All right, so we will look at the drills and we'll see if there's any special drills or anything, but let's go ahead and look at the canvas, okay? Now, they do have a dust bag over it. This is interesting. It's like just an extra little tab here. But this is just a dust bag that keeps it clean and, you know, dust free. All right. Add some sparkle to your world. Yes, I will. Thank you. All right. There's going to be no drill reveal. Yeah, there is some paperwork in there. I can see that. So let's go ahead and unroll this. It's going to be pretty tight. I don't want to show you guys yet. Don't look. Don't look. Uh, I know, I'm trying not to look either. Well, there's a lot of paperwork in there. All right, so what I like to do is I like to grab, if y'all seen one of my videos before, I just kind of grab the edge of my desk. And again, any, you can do this any way you want. But for me, um, I like to grab the edge of my desk and just kind of stretch it out. And these wrinkles that you see on the back are no problem at all. It won't affect the other side. It's just from being rolled up. But since this is poor glue, you can roll it back on itself. Now, Diamond Dots has like a scratchier, see that? It's not real soft, but it's fine. It's great quality. It's just... That's how they do theirs. It's not real soft, like a felt. It's like more of an oil canvas feeling. So what I do is I just roll this the opposite way to get it ready to show you guys and also just to get ready, you know, to, uh, to diamond paint on it. Some people have all different ways of flattening out their diamond painting. There's some pretty good wrinkles in here, so I'll show you all a couple of tricks. Okay, so I just squeeze this. You can't hurt it. You just want it to kind of go the other direction. Okay, let's take a look at it, and then we'll take a. I'll give you all some tips on how to maybe get some wrinkles out. Oh wow! Look at this image, you guys. Unbelievable. Look at the sky. It's going to be a lot of different colors. You got some pinks and purples. That's beautiful. You got the monuments back here. I can see them. Beautiful light posts with all these wreaths. And you got the people. It looks like snow. And there's Thomas Kincaid's. Okay, so let's take a look at, let's take a little tour of the canvas. So on the top left, there's the Diamond Dots logo. There is a legend, okay? There are 31 colors like we talked about. Now let's see. Uh, I don't see any special drills, but this one almost doesn't need them, you know? When I say special drills, like ABs, fairy dust, anything like that. So you have a legend at the top left, and you have another legend on the bottom right, depending on where you're diamond painting at. So you can always access it if you need to. Again, down here, it's got that SKU number that was on the pack of drills, Symbols of Freedom. It's got all the information down here. It shows it's licensed, the fabric size. So, yeah, everything you need. Let's check the stickiness. I like how they have this border around there, too. Do you see that, like, little frame? That's really nice. I don't know if I ever noticed that before. Oh, y'all. It's almost... Is there such thing as too sticky? 
I don't think so. All right, uh, let's take a look at the drill field. How about the tree? Does that sound good? I like to bring it up close to you guys so you can see if you will be able to read the symbols. Yeah, it's clear. Yep, I don't see any problems with clarity. The symbols are very, very clear. Yep, looks good to me. All right, so let's talk about how to get this baby flattened just a little bit more. There's a couple of things you can do. Again, you can roll it the opposite way a couple of times, right? Because it's kind of curled up right here. You can also bring up each of the corners, okay? And just kind of release some of that tension. And then I just like to use my arm. And I don't want to get my head in camera, but, you know, just kind of like, yeah. There we go. Oh, that really did help. Look at that. Wow. Okay. That really helped. So you can do that with all four corners, okay? Then what I also do, I take the edge... Let me show you guys. Let me move it over a little bit. Okay, there you go. Let me see my legs. But all right, so here's the edge of my table. Okay, it's like a sharp edge. I go ahead and just, I mean, I do it pretty hard. Okay, it's not going to hurt it. And I just kind of, you know, just kind of rock it back and forth and just kind of really rub it on that edge. Just like a straight edge that just kind of helps it. And if there's some bigger wrinkles, like there's one like right here I want to get out, I just kind of do this several times. I do this every time I do a diamond painting. This is like part of my process. There's a good little wrinkle here. I think we should release the plastic on that one. So I go down and then I even go back up and I just kind of press very, very firmly. And it really does. It really does help. So, um, but yeah, some of these, um, yeah, these will, these will definitely flatten out. It's just from being rolled up. Yeah. Yep. There we go. And some people even put them like under their mattress, but I don't think that's necessary. You can see after I did that, that wrinkle's like gone. That plastic is helping so this is kind of a deep one right here so let's go ahead and peel that back so you can see those wrinkles right there yeah it's just been poor guy's been rolled up so hopefully this is helpful and if you guys have any other tips and tricks for flattening out your diamond painting put it in the comments I am definitely not the expert like I tell you guys I just act like one on YouTube but I'm definitely not yeah that oh that helped so much yeah, it was just from the plastic being on there and being rolled up. Wow. Yeah, you just really... Oh, that looks so much better. Look at that. It's like gone. It's gone. Ta -da. Yeah, it's totally smooth. So peel back that plastic on all four corners, and that'll really help. All right, do you want to take a look at the drills? Oh, let's look at the paperwork. I almost forgot. Wow, this is a big brochure. <laughs> with, with a lot of... Le oh, boy. Diamond dots, could you, like... Could we make this, it's like a book, or like a newspaper. Could we make this smaller? I guess they need this many languages. Where's English? Oh my goodness. Must be on this side. So yeah, this is just going to be how to diamond paint instructions. Okay, how to diamond dots craft. Welcome to diamond dots craft, okay? Yeah, it just tells you, yep. Oh, okay. Peel back the protective film from the first area to be worked. Yep. Okay, just kind of explains it. So if you are new, this could be helpful, or you could just watch some YouTube videos. But yeah, that's a lot. Now I will tell you with Diamond Dots, they do not give you um, like a lot of the other companies do. But again, they're saving money. They're more of a budget, you know. And this is where you kind of oh, you can still see my legs. This is where they kind of cut back some of the costs. I'm sure. I don't know for sure, but that's my that's my opinion. Um, they do not include a sticker sheet with stickers that have the symbols printed on them for you to put on your storage containers when you go to move these over. Um, so what I do is I take my phone. No, I take that back. I, I do it differently. I, uh, I put, so I have a, I have a printer, scanner, copier, like combo machine. You could also do your phone too, actually. Um, but with me, I just flip this over and make a copy on my printer, my scanner of the legend. And then I have a little Xyron sticker maker. And I'll go ahead and include, I did a video a couple years ago on how to do how to use your Xyron sticker maker to do stickers for these. Um, so what I do is I make a copy of this and then I cut this out right on my paper and then I feed that through my Xyron sticker maker and then I have labels and then you can actually, or you know what you can do if you just have white labels, any labels, you can even write directly on the containers. After you're done, just use some alcohol and some baby wipes, nail polish remover, and it comes right off. I've done that with Sharpies, but if you have little white labels, you could actually just write the numbers and you could also do the symbols. The symbols don't look that hard. Yeah, I think we could handle that, right? 
So yeah, however you want to do it. There's 31 colors, so it's a good amount. Oh, this is beautiful, you guys. Okay, so let's look at the drills. Oh, I forgot to shake out the box, just in case. All right, let's see. Looks like a lot of browns, which I'm kind of surprised. Let's see. Um, I tell you guys this all the time, but in case you are new and you need a reminder, um, or you need a reminder, I keep these bags, see how they prop open? And when I'm moving these, I'm cutting these, and I'm opening them, pouring them into my storage containers. I trash all this after. This is all trash. So I keep this bag, and I just pop all the empty bags in there, seal it up because it's got the sticky on it, and just throw it away. So use this as your trash bag. It's really helpful. All right, so let's take a look and see how many trains do we have. Now, this is a train, so they're not individually bagged. So there's one train. Oh, here's a couple browns by themselves. Okay. Now, also with diamond dots, they don't use the traditional like DMC numbers. They have their own numbering system. So, yeah, if you like to keep your drills, that's a whole nother thing. I don't really, I don't keep mine. I know some people are like, oh, I don't keep mine. So I don't really have to worry about that. But if you do, there are some charts appar apparently online somewhere. But all right, let's start with number one. Here we go. And then we'll work our way. These must be by weight is what I'm thinking. Ooh, these are pretty. Look at that. Look at that yellow. Oh, I bet it's going to be in the lights. Okay, so we have that beautiful yellow. So we've got A1. We've got two. Gray. Sorry if y'all can hear my dog snoring in the background. Uh, it's my Frenchie. So we've got three. I'm not going to tell you these numbers because they won't really mean anything to us, really. They're not DMCs. So you've got this really pretty orange, like a, almost like a brick kind of coral color. Ooh, that's pretty. That's lighter. Five. Let's see if I have any multiple bags. Six. Seven, you got different shades of gray. Nine. Ooh, another yellow. Okay. Oh, yeah, maybe like the light post, and there's like the light off the people kind of like highlighting them. All right, so let's do this one. Eleven. All right, yeah, lots of like this neutral, like kind of brown color, but those are different. Yeah, that's 8390, that's 8389. Okay, so you got different colors of brown. So we've got 11, 12, 13. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Lots of different shades of brown. I like that, y'all. This is gorgeous. Very, very pretty. I'm very, very impressed with this one. And let's see. We've got 21. So far, we only have one bag of everything. A lot of yellows. Hmm. 22, 23. That almost looks like a, a really, really dark brown. Almost like a 939. And we've got 24. 25, 26, that's like a gray, a really, really, well, like a grayish brown. More yellow, what is with the yellows? Well, uh, 27, 28, and 29, okay? And then we have 30 and 31. So, yes, um, it's going to be, just by looking at it, when we say color blocking and confetti, color blocking is when you have a lot of one color in one area, and that way it goes a little faster because you're not having to dump a new color out you know, more often. Confetti is when you have to change colors a lot, which I, I like both. I like a mix of both. But I can see, I mean, you know, there's some teas and, but yeah, being I'm just seeing one bag of everything, it's going to be kind of a fun one to work on. The tree's really going to be fun. I'm curious. I didn't see any red. What's that up arrow? I kind of saw some of the, that burnt. Let's see that. Let's see what that up arrow is. Yeah, the up arrow is where you're seeing a lot of the reds. I'm curious. So no special drills. Let's see. That is four. So let's go back to the beginning. Oh, yep. It is this one. Okay. Yep. It's that color. So that's going to be kind of an orangish red. So that's going to be in the tree and kind of in the wreaths, it looks like. Yep. I see that. And I also see a P. P is 24. Let's find that one. Okay. This one. So it's a, uh, yeah, a little deceiving just looking at the rendering. I'm a little, I mean, I would think it'd be, but I can see. It's like a, almost like a maroon color. You see that? It's really nice. I am very impressed with this. I'm glad I picked it up. Um, I hope you guys, I hope this helped you make a decision. Um, let me know in the comments if there's anything else you'd like to see, maybe before you purchase. I don't mind answering any questions you have and maybe something I didn't talk about or maybe something you want to see up closer. I don't mind taking pictures and send them to you guys. So yeah, let me know. Um, but again, uh, you know, use a coupon in store or online. You can find it either way. In store might be a little bit harder 
Um, but I was able to find one, but it took me a while. But again, just look online and find it online. And then you can do like pick up at store. And it'll, it actually told me there were seven in stock at a store not too far from me. So that's maybe the best way to go instead of just driving everywhere to Joann's um, if you don't want to pay for shipping. So yeah, so let me know what you guys think. Um, this was so fun. I don't know if I'm going to work on this or not during the holidays. I have quite a few other holiday paintings, so I'll have to just decide, but I may work on this. Um, but yeah, I hope this was helpful. I love that Diamond Dots has Thomas Kincaid. That is just amazing. That's so, so cool. I love that it's a holiday one. But yeah, um, I think that's going to be it for this video. I think I showed you guys everything. Again, if there's any questions you have, so let me know also in the comments. One, have you already purchased this? Have you found it? Do you have it? Um, or are you planning on purchasing it? Is this something that you want to get? I know a lot of you are Thomas Kincaid fans. So yeah, let me know. I think it's, it's awesome that we're, they're supporting the artists. I just think it's amazing. So yep. All right, that's going to be it for me for today for this video. And uh, if you all enjoyed this, uh, before you head out, please give me a thumbs up down below. They really do help. And then um, if you've not subscribed, I'd love to have you. Uh, it doesn't cost anything. It's absolutely free to subscribe. You just click on the subscribe button down below, and then there's a notification bell right next to that. And if you've been back again to see me and you've already subscribed, thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you guys very, very much. Um, so, yeah, have a great day. Uh, get this if you want it. Yep, go, go grab it. All right, I love you guys so much. Take care, and I'll see you in the next one. Okay, bye, guys.